Hi, this is What You're Waiting For, A Woman's Perspective on Camping and Survival. And I wanted to do a video today because I just happened to be making some more um, laundry soap. And I did have a few questions from different people. Um, some people um, uh, PM'd me and uh, had some questions. And I was talking to some other people. And uh, so I wanted to do like an update to try to answer all the questions um, that I had gotten over our laundry soap. Um, the first thing was, um, yeah, the Zoat soap is working out really good. Um, I just did a batch of white, which I haven't done before, so, you know, I, I've been using the pink. Uh, but it looks like it's pretty much the same as the pink. Uh, it, I still have some Phil's naphtha uh, soap bars, but I just haven't used them. But I might, you know, switch off, I'm not sure. Uh, but the Zoat soap, but yeah, it's working really good. Um, the second thing was they were asking about the grater. Uh, I have a very small grater, and I think I showed this on my video, I'm not sure, um, but I have a very small hold grater, and the thing is, is when I grate it, especially the Zoat soap, uh, you need, need to grate it into your bowl or into your pot before you put the hot water in or before you start heating it up, because it will just like melt instantly and you want to be able to grate it not to have it just like gunk up on the grater. Uh, so for sure try to grate it before you start heating the water. And I actually started with a little bit of hot water to get it going so um, I start grating it before I put the water in. Uh, another thing is this is just for laundry soap. I don't use it for cheese or anything like that. And how I clean it I just take uh, after I grate I just take it and run it under hot water. Same with the spoon and the pot. If you do it right away, um, you will not have any problem at all with it just coming right off. And uh, the soap uh, spoon is just for soap, but I do use the pot for other things. Um, I just really, really wash it out. <laughs> My kids make fun of me because I say wash instead of wash. I, I really wash it out good. Um, another thing that they were asking is how long it lasts. Uh, we make soap about three to four times a year, so it lasts between three to four months, uh, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little um, shorter, and that's with five of us, and we have uh, five pretty much adult kids. I mean, uh, counting me and my husband, and then three like adult-sized kids, so we don't have any like little bitty kids. Uh, so they're full loads. Uh, we also have a dog that we wash his blankets. He has like baby blankets because he's missing his hip bone, so it's hard for him to sit on the floor. So we make sure we wash those every week so there's always a load of baby blankets for him. Um, when I get into a whim, we have cloth uh, napkins that we wash. And that also includes going through and washing like the debate covers, the big blankets, things like that. Um, so it, it really lasts us quite a long time. I think a smaller uh, family probably will last, you know, six months. If you're by yourself, it might even last a year um, or more. I've never had any problem with it going bad. Um, we do use it, you know, quite uh, sooner than normal people. Uh, <laughs> but it, uh, we've never had any problems with it going bad. Um, it will gel up a little bit. You just give it another stir before you add 50% uh, of the product that you make to 50% water. Shake it up. And it seems to work uh, better if you uh, mix it with like warmer water and let it sit through the night and then come and shake it up and it seems a little bit more incorporated. Um, another thing I do, a little tip that I have, is when you go and measure the borax and the washing powder, I go ahead and measure out and do it maybe three at a time and measure out in baggies and keep them bagged up so when it comes time to actually make it, all I have to do is just break the bar of soap and mix in the baggie and we're ready to go. You could probably already grate the soap bars all at one time and get it over with for the whole year um, and just put them in baggies. So anyway, those are just some tips and questions that I wanted to answer and what you waiting for. Bye.